Good evening, pen chums. Last I saw you, I was about to attempt removal of this threaded boss from a Japanese eyedropper with an ink shut-off shaft using a custom cast searing disposable sort of tool. So yeah, as you can see, I managed to bring it out quite nicely. Um, all I did was have the, the pen nib up as I was heating the barrel. had the um, searing clamped to the exposed threads of the boss, which is surprisingly long, and I had a little uh, rubber safe glycerin poured in to act as a sort of better than nothing penetrating fluid, and it worked lovely. It just sort of glided out, not really any resistance at all, on a standard lefty loosey thread. So I don't really want to bore you with a lot of uh, details because you can see it's come out, but what I did want to show was the state of those threads after extraction because um, I was worried, understandably so, about it being not metal that they might get chewed or stripped or what have you but really it took minimal clamping and I'm really pleased with the state of them so I'm going to try and stick the loop over this camera and uh, see if I can illustrate those threads again okay I've got a little bit of uh, blue tack here and that can mark a sort of starting point and I'll just try and slowly turn it and maybe even get really in focus I can see lint there which is absolutely infuriating I keep dropping this every time I try and shoot this video but you get the idea it's um, it's done it's done basically a pretty good job I think these two sort of thicker threads they are they are the area of basically where the the filler was uh, meeting the barrel. So I think that must have been used on manufacture or some sort of um, stopping point. So, yeah, the boss is out. But what now? I still need to replace the sealing material, whatever it is, that has failed inside that boss. Now I was quite surprised to see this when I took this out. I was expecting to see an area in here with a sort of shelf and some packing material for me to pick out, but no, everything seems to be contained within the boss itself, which incidentally seems to be the source of that strange, uh, I was noticing while it turns it's slightly off, and what's happening there is the shaft is slightly askew from the boss. I'm not going to get this in focus but you can see there's quite a large hole and the packing material must be a little further down. So it's, uh, it's slightly askew and that's why I'm getting that sort of, it's not a bulkiness but there's a slight um, sharpness and then a looseness and a sharpness. I wasn't describing it very well but you know what I mean you guys. So how do I get this open? I'm seeing two sort of rough areas. This, uh, don't know, call it a washer here, and the same arrangement. The same arrangement below. So between them, one of those two washers must provide access to the sealing material. God knows how I'm going to get them out. I've got a feeling I'm just going to try and use blue tack stick uh, blue tack on either boss end and give it a little bit of a, a twist, a bit of a turn in a heat stream and see if that does anything, if it encourages some kind of a movement. They're so small I'm not sure really how likely it is that they screw off. See them? There and there. But uh, it, it must have come off somehow for them to get sealing material in there. So um, I guess I'll see, I'll see you next time, is all I ever seem to keep saying. Well, wish me luck. Beauty bye.